Very big God bless you from me, Rory Alec. Great to be with you on this Thursday. We're screaming through April. It's another Spirit Soul Body podcast, and it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for letting me join with you wherever you're watching. Morning, noon, or night. Let's have some, uh, yeah, let's have some good old fashioned fellowship. And um, even as the words come out my mouth, I think, yeah, good old fashioned fellowship virtually i don't see you but i know you're there <laughs> you're seeing me through some device or screen <laughs> at least we're not in COVID anymore thank god for that but uh, who knows what the future holds um there's no surprises with him thank goodness for that praise your name um i pray you're well i hope you're well on this thursday i'm looking forward to the weekend and um even as this podcast is going out on the time of recording this, which is around 7 p.m. Thursday evening, Central European time. By the way, greetings from the heart of Europe here in this beautiful country, Austria. On today's podcast, we're definitely going to hang out and show you a little bit around Austria. So if you're new to this country and you've not seen much on it, of course, you've got YouTube. You can go and find anything you want on the Internet uh, but on Spirit Soul Body podcast, you're going to be traveling around with yours truly today. We're going to be up in the Lake District, which is about 40 minutes outside of the great city of Salzburg. You know, if you've ever heard of the famous classical composer Mozart, he was born in the city of Salzburg and lived his life there or there around. So wrote a lot of his famous symphonies and compositions and concertos and you name it. You may be a Mozart expert. You might know more about it than I do, but we're going to be in that part of the world. So we'll be visiting St. Gilgen today. I'll be showing you around um, the beautiful country of Austria. I will climb a mountain today as well. <laughs> going to do lots today. You're not going to hear so much from me here in the studio itself because this week's got extraordinarily busy. Um, so I will tell you what's going to happen this week. Um, but we're going to also meet my darling wife, Carola. She's going to be in the, while I'm climbing the mountain, she's going to be showing us how to make Apfelstrudel. Now, I know you guys throughout the world, or whoever's experienced Apfelstrudel, it's delicious. It's wonderful. Uh, it's like an apple tart, but it's Austrian made. And my beloved is going to show you and I, how she makes it from complete scratch, okay? Now, I won't show you the whole process. I'll just cut in and out, and if you if you want to get the full method and recipe, you can, you can go and check out one of my earlier podcasts. Sorry, vlogs. I, I correct myself on this Spirit Soul Body podcast. I'm going to get confused with all this technology. Uh, this is where I'm supposed to be hanging out with you for the next 20, 30, 40 minutes, or however long we choose. Normally, I have guests. We talk about things spirit, soul, and body. Um, and today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the windows of life and how sometimes we come to our windows and we look out from our soul windows and everything's just foggy and you can't see the wood from the trees. You can't see 10 feet in front of you in terms of life's challenges and that sort of thing. So I'll be doing a bit of a thought for the day from this little village of St. Gilgen. And um, and then, I, as I said, I'm going to climb up a mountain too. I want you to <laughs> spare you the full drama, but if you do want to climb up the mountain with me, you can catch it on one of my, as I say, vlogs. I've got over 100-something vlogs 
pieces of my week. So if you're interested in getting to know more about Rory Alec, post God TV and um, in my new season of life, check out the Spirit Soul Body vlogs. Yep. So, yeah, why is it a short one today? I think it's going to be a short. It won't be for you so much, but for me, in terms of recording, it's definitely going to be a short one. And it's because it's been a very busy week. We filmed last week up here uh, for a client in the mountains of Austria, did a beautiful podcast there for, for one of my clients. And over the next year, there's at least another 100 podcasts that she's doing. Um, it's a secular podcast, tent making for me. And uh, so it's a blessing in terms of the benefits that come from that. A great project. We'll be uh, interviewing and and podcasting very interesting people at least my client will be so it's one of these weeks crazy and as we scream through this week tomorrow is Corolla's birthday so happy birthday darling uh, if I can even do this because my beloved wife is very supportive of spiritual body podcasts she'll be watching it tonight even as it whatever the word is debuts on YouTube Facebook and wherever else you might be watching. So again, it's lovely to have you with me. Thanks for being with me. I think let's just, yeah, let's not comment on the silver foil that you saw at the Thank beginning you. of this podcast. It's very nice. We're in a little village called Strobel. We're looking at a little property here that we might put on Airbnb. And we found a hairdresser that I'd visited two years ago and walked in and said, could you do my hair? And they said, yes, we'll do it. And they did it immediately. And I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee. And if you're looking at me now, you're going like, okay, Rory, you probably need to get your highlights again, mate. They, they're looking a little kind of gray and yellow sort of thing, you know. This is like, I like highlights. And as I said at the beginning, it takes a real man, or maybe I'm about to say it. It takes a real man to sit like this. <laughs> like paparazzi. It takes a real man to sit in front of a iPhone camera with the wife behind filming you with all of these silver things in your... Uh... Yeah, I agree. We won't talk much more about that. Uh, but right now, I'd love to take you up onto the slopes of, of, of an alpinic view as we supposed to look out window and see a gorgeous lake. But all we see is fog. And I think this reminds me very much of different seasons in my life where I just, without God, his presence in me, giving me a, a, a sense of don't worry, it's okay, I've got you, even though you cannot see the answer to the challenges you're facing. So let me not re-preach myself. Let's go off and find that window and let's have a look out by faith. Sometimes using the weather as a symbolism or as a metaphor, life doesn't look like what you think it should. For example, I open the windows and all you see is fog. You see nothing. You don't see any view. You see some barely sh outlined shapes of, of roofs, of buildings, but you can see nothing. And sometimes life can feel like that. It can feel like I just cannot see much further than my nose okay and then there's other times when you open up and and you get the feeling of ah there's some sunshine coming I, I think the fog might lift I think I think there's gonna be some clarity on the issues that we find challenging in our lives I don't know about you but there are times in my life where it feels pretty bleak and cold and miserable and then there's times where suddenly everything just lifts and for me as I believe in him trusting him as he leads and orders our steps and sometimes we go through what they call the valley of the shadow of death it feels scary and um, there are other times where you see very clearly and you feel like you're on top of the world and you can see as far as the eye allows you to see so if you're feeling like the fog has set in and you're never gonna see anything again don't worry about it because as you open the windows onto life things become clear. Inevitably, eventually, if you hold your nerve, if you just keep taking another step, just keep moving forward, you're gonna find out that the fog will lift and it'll open up into a breathtaking view like we've had at this little flat here in St. Kilda. So Boom, the sun comes through, breaks up the fog and, and then the view that can be revealed. Now I know that's 
could be a little idealistic, and some of you may be in the middle of the fog, and some of you have come out of fog, some of you in a beautiful clear day, and some of you are like, ah, I've just opened the window and there's fog in my world. It doesn't matter which phase you find yourself in, may I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, please consider him. If you're walking with him, don't forget him, press into him, rush to him. And if you don't know him, well, you have your free will. You choose how you want and how you believe. But my encouragement to you from my heart, not from my head, not from some kind of religious dynamic, find a Bible, start with the New Testament, pick up the four Gospels. I would encourage you not to start with the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, or Luke, but start with the Gospel of John because you're really going to hear and feel how the Apostle John writes about his closest friend, his bosom buddy, Yeshua, Jesus. And and John, in his gospel, the gospel of John, reveals just this extraordinary Savior that we can rush to when life is very, very foggy. Well, listen, thanks for hanging out with me. We're about to climb a mountain, and my beloved Corolla, whose birthday is it? It is tomorrow. Happy birthday, darling. I get to say that before. Um, Corolla is going to show you guys and us how we make this wonderful Apfel strudel. And I must say, as I've been pushing through on this diet, and you can see, yep, the before and the after right now in this podcast. As you look at this vlog from a couple of years ago, Mr. Alec is puffed out there. Definitely not so healthy. And how I get up this mountain, this little journey you're about to see me take with my, my beloved son, Christian, um, is a miracle. And it was quite a drama going up there. It was much longer than I thought. Probably the, no, the highest mountain I've ever climbed. Because it's even higher than Ben Nevis. We're about to climb the Shaftesburg, ladies and gentlemen. And while I'm busy huffing and puffing all the way up the mountain, let me not give away too much. Um, beloved Corolla is showing us mm, that wonderful Apfel strudel. So yeah, but no, I won't have any. Because this morning I weighed 89 kilograms. On the 1st of January, this is just like three and a half months ago, I weighed 102.8. For those of you who haven't been tracking on this podcast journey, spirit, soul, and body, we all need to tackle our demons. <laughs> um, and one of mine is enjoying food too much like Upful Strudel and putting on too much weight. Anyway, you can see I'm making good progress. Thanks for those of you who are walking with me, supporting me, and rooting for me. I appreciate it. I'm on my way to 82 kilograms, and I'm about to start my third at the end of this month. May I go into the first seven days, and maybe even longer this, this month of May, because there's a very special fast, a 21-day fast that's been called by a number of ministries around the world representing over 100 million people. So I will talk to you maybe more about that in the weeks ahead for those of you who are interested in the, the spiritual side and are interested in the whole fasting dynamic. I planned and have done two fasts, and there's a third one on the way, uh, which is the beginning of May. So that's all helping me. And then in between the fasts, just to remind those of you who haven't caught episode one, two, three, four of this podcast, um, for me personally, and my encouragement to you as well, ponder on it. I know it takes knowledge and then it takes knowledge applied and then it takes discipline. And believe you me, it's slow going. I would love to be much, much lighter and get there much faster. Isn't that so human of me. <laughs> so I want to get to 82 is my goal. I'm sitting at 89 as of this morning, between 88.9 and, and 89, thereabouts. And um, yeah, watching Corolla make Upful Strudel uh, on this podcast today is definitely not going to help me. I don't Because <laughs> it's delicious, I promise you. It is delicious. Yeah, so um, intermittent fasting is what I'm currently doing in between these three uh, water fasts because I do pretty much water and lemon squeeze some lemon juice into water and I add some salt as well just to help the body keep you know what I'm saying hey let's not talk about the sad scary stuff it's not sad but the fasting the intermittent fasting um, let's get on to that wonderful upful strudel <laughs> Hi, 
My name is Carola and I'm Roy's wife and I'm going to show you today how to make Apfelstrudel with dough that you can pull. You can make the dough yourself and you can pull the dough. All right. Yesterday I threatened to do it. Today I'm doing it. I'm uh, climbing to the top of the Schafberg. I just want to say for a moment this is what life is like you know at some point you're going to get to the top of that mountain it's going to be spectacular and I really hope today on this vlog we get there it's a long ways up down in the valley it's beautiful it's green it's wonderful and then you walk halfway up the mountain or a good part of the mountain and you're on roads the path is broad but then it gets narrow and you've got these trees on either side overpowering canopy <laughs> so when you're climbing the mountain of life I think we all do it seasons of our lives. We go through some pretty steep crap. Excuse my language. I keep putting one foot before the other. That's all I can tell you. What do you think? Yeah, we're climbing a mountain. We're gonna to get to the top and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. That's where we go. Up there, Christian. <laughs> it just hurts me to think about it. Both of my grandmothers, my grandmother from my dad's side, my grandmother from my mom's side, I always used to love this dish. We're getting there. In fact, I can see the Alps right in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, we're about halfway. We've got to keep going. All right, let's see what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at. That's my second born. Most incredible son. I hate this camera, it doesn't tell you how high we are. Trust me, we're high. We're up in the heavenlies here. The extraordinary thing is, is that those cows on the hill are higher than we are. And I just can't have that. At least we're not in the woods anymore. Hello girls, watch out for that. Cow poo. Oh my goodness, at last. Hey, look, that's where we're going, Christian. Yeah. We're nearly there. Yeah. Oh, I know we still got somewhere to go, but. <laughs> what? Forget that, man. now a matter of taste also how thin do you want your dough to be <sighs> I think that's the hardest I've climbed anywhere in the world station down the bottom there so you can see how far we've come there's my son and we have to go way beyond there so there's nothing more to do but to keep climbing Christian's doing great his dad is struggling. And we've still got somewhere to go. I'd be speaking with much more passion and energy if I had it, but I don't. Choice of youth. I always start with the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna start here on that side and I'm gonna fill about two thirds of it. And now I will roll it. All right. Made it. Please know this about life. Even when you can see your goal in sight, you're not there until you get to the top. And it's for fact, the hardest part is always the last few steps 
But Christian and I have got one more little trip to go up there because we're going to have a cold beer and a schnitzel. Of course, for him it was a breeze, but for, for me it was like, uh, but I did it. I made it. I got to the top of that mountain. Lots of wonderful memories in this amazing place. And of course, this is where I got married too, to the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> She's my camera girl, come. Yeah. We got, we, we got married just behind that hill there. Yeah. Foggy windows, conquering mountains, up full strudel, and of course, our better halves, at least my better half, Corolla there. I will save the story of us getting married and indeed maybe link it to actually having right here on the Spiritual Body podcast set. I will have my beloved Corolla come talk with you, talk with me, greet you guys. I'd love to introduce her to you. She is my sunshine girl. Beautiful smile, loves Jesus and um, keeps me on the straight and narrow as all of our wonderful wives can do but very gracious very humble and just a beautiful soul so i look forward to introducing her to you and then yes we will play a little bit of our wedding and how we got married and all of those wonderful things listen ladies and gentlemen i am running out of time on this podcast but i have so enjoyed being with you um thanks for your encouragement thanks for your well wishes thanks for your support thanks for your prayers thanks for hanging out with me on spirit soul body remember we have one life one body let you and i let's make it count till next time from me rory alec catch you next week don't miss it and if you're in the middle of binge binge watching you've come to the end so far you'll have to wait till the next episode unless of course you're watching this and it's not the 13th of april lots of love from me and a big big god bless ciao for now